Hi. Now in this question then, what we've got is the side of a cube is increasing at the rate of 5 centimetres per second. And we've got to find the rate of increase of the volume when the length of a side is 3 centimetres. Now what I'd encourage you to do in most problems on connected rates of change is to always draw a sketch of the problem. And in this particular one, what we've got is a cube. And you can often find that you're not given any letters about the um, object that you're dealing with. In this case, we don't have any lengths of the sides given. So what I'm going to do is just label the sides. Let's say we'll label them with x as x centimeters. So they're going to keep changing this, these sides in length. Okay, It's going to always increase. So the volume is going to get bigger and bigger. And what is that volume going to be just generally? Well, we could just say the volume V is going to equal x cubed. Now, we're asked to find the rate of increase of the volume when the length of a side is 3 centimeters. So in other words, what we've got to do is we need to find, and I would also encourage you to put down what it is that you've got to find in these kind of questions. We've got to find the rate of increase of the volume. That is the rate of change of volume dv and it's with respect to time, dt, rate of change of volume. We've got to find this when the side x, in this case, or whatever letter you defined the sides as, when the length of the side is 3 centimeters, so when x equals 3. And what are we given? You're always going to find in these questions you're given something. And we're given that the side of the cube is increasing at a rate of 5 centimeters per second. So what does that mean? Well, it's a rate of change, so it's going to be d by d something. And in this case, it's a measurement of length. You can see in the units because centimeters is a measurement of length. So in this case, it's going to be the rate of change of length, x, with respect to and what you've got on the end here is the units of time. So it would be dx by dt. And we're told that that is constantly 5. So the sides are growing here at a rate of 5 centimeters every second. So you can imagine the cube getting bigger and bigger. OK, so how do we set about then finding dv by dt? So what we need to do is put down dv by dt. And to do this, what we need to do is connect two rates of change. Put down dv, the top part. Put it over something. Put times. And then in this position, always copy down what you've got here, dt in this case. Now what you've got to put here and here has got to be exactly the same so that we use the chain rule. It's as if these two cancel out. Well in the context of this question it's got to be x. It's the only other variable that we're using. So I need to put dx here and dx here. And what I'm doing is I'm connecting, that's the time sign, the two rates of change. And that's how we get the name, connected rates of chain. OK, so let's move on. dvdx, the rate of change of volume with respect to the length, x. I can get that from here. I can differentiate v with respect to x and I can get 3x squared. Let's just put that in brackets. So that's the first bit, rate of change of volume with respect to x. Now we've got to times it with dx by dt. But we've got that. The rate of change of length was 5. 5 centimeters every second. So I just put that in as 5. And if we clean this up, what we've got is 15x squared. And this is the general 
rate of change of volume with time in terms of the length x. We're looking for a particular instant when x is 3 centimeters. So what we need to do is just say that when x equals 3, we can say 3 centimeters, substitute that into here and that will give us dv by dt. So therefore dv by dt is going to be equal to 15 times 3 squared or 15 times 9 and that comes out to 135 and don't forget the units we've got rate of change of volume with respect to time so volume is going to be in centimeter cubes and the time will be per second s with a little minus one okay so I hope that you've been able to follow that and you could model a similar question on this.